Fournette, Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. What's going on, everybody? It's Treeb from Treeb Talks here. And today is Valentine's Day. A holiday that women like because they usually get flowers, chocolates, candy, things of that nature. And a holiday men don't really like because they got to go out and buy all these things. But at the end of the night, you're probably going to bang. So that's all that matters at the end of the day to the dudes. I'm just kidding. We love y'all females. We love y'all women. And we want the best for you and we want to make you happy. That's why Valentine's Day is a thing. Now, I wanted to come back, make some Jaguar videos, but I did not want to leave out this beautiful, beautiful holiday. So what I did is, is I compiled a list of some Jaguar players, and I'm going to be telling you what this Jaguar player would be giving you for Valentine's Day if you were his Valentine this year. Of course, the Jaguars released their annual uh, Valentine's Day cards with the players on them. I got a list of some players, and I'm going to tell you exactly what you should expect if you were ever this Jaguar player's Valentine. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is what this Jaguar player would get you for Valentine's Day. Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew is the king of cutting jorts, so probably what he's going to do, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of effort, but he's probably going to make you your own jorts, but you can't put your legs in them, so it's just going to be like a denim heart. So he's going to get you a denim heart, and you guys are going to stay in and watch Fight Club on VHS. You're either going to stay in and watch Fight Club on VHS together on Valentine's Day, or he's going to take you out in the RV and take you to some retro drive-in movie theater, and you guys can lay on the hood of the RV or lay on the hood of like a 1976 El Camino and watch the drive-in movie. Doug Marone. Doug Marone's an older guy. He's old school. He's going to get you your flowers, but most importantly what he's going to get you is a nice dinner at home with the kids like any other day. Probably going to make you something with bologna. It's probably going to be a nice bologna and cheese sandwich. And you may have had that on February 13th, but you know on February 14th, Dougie Dougie Boy is making that with love. D.D. Westbrook. Uh, D.D. Westbrook takes me as a guy that would just get you a bunch of framed pictures. Not of you and D.D., but just of Didi. Like, it's just going to be a bunch of framed pictures of him with, like, the caption below it saying, go crazy. He might post, like, a selfie of you on his Instagram, but as far as presents go, I would bet that Didi Westbrook would just get you a bunch of framed pictures of himself. Nick Foles. Now, Nick Foles is the guy that if you are romantic, you're going to want to be with on Valentine's Day because Nick Foles is the type of guy to take you to a nice candlelit dinner you know, and then take you back home, and then you guys can cuddle in a rose petal and rose petal filled bed in the hotel room. But you're not going to be having sex if you're not married, because you know Nick Foles is a good Christian boy. He's probably going to inform you on how Valentine's Day got started and how it r really evolved to what it is today, because again, he's a good Christian boy. You might be going to do some church activities at the church. It's just going to be a really nice, wholesome day. So if you're into that wholesome stuff, Nick Foles is the Jaguar player you want to take out on Valentine's Day. Yannick Ngakwe. Yannick Ngakwe is going to post you on his Instagram story, on his Twitter story, on his Facebook story, an Instagram post, and a tweet. And they're all going to be very, very shady. Like, you're going to be like, when I come home from work, am I still going to have a boyfriend? Like, he's going to post a picture of you and say, soon. Like, soon? What does soon really mean? And then it's just like, he'll tweet the following hour and say missed opportunities or blessings in disguise and then they're gonna be like you're gonna be like what is he gonna break up with me and you're gonna try and text him or whatever and he's gonna say don't worry about it god has a plan and you're gonna be like what is the plan you just posted a selfie of me on instagram and said soon i don't know what soon means god has a plan what what are we doing this valentine's day yan what are we doing seriously yeah stop with the cryptic instagram and tweets Shad Khan. You're going to tell Khan exactly what you want, down to a T on how you want to spend February 14th, your Valentine's Day, and he's going to decide, nah, 
nope, nope, we're not going to do that. And actually, I'm not going to be hanging out with you at all because I'm hanging out with my side chick in London because, you know, he has a lot of money. So, you know, he's taking a plane over and you thought you were the main girl he was going to be with forever and ever and he really wanted to build you up and make you something special and really build a life with you so you guys can be together forever. But there's this other girl you're kind of fishy about, but she lives overseas and, you know, he says that they're like cousins or something and nothing serious is going to come after it. But now he's spending Valentine's Day over there and you're a little confused but yeah Shad Khan is not a good dude do not spend your Valentine's Day with Shad Khan. Calais Campbell. Calais Campbell's the guy you want for Valentine's Day especially if you have kids because you know he's just a great guy I have nothing bad or funny to say about Calais like I'm sure his wife and his kids I think he has a wife and kids I'm not really into these players personal lives but if he does have a wife and some kids you know for a fact he spoils those kids and his wife. He's the Walter Payton Man of the Year. Probably the best guy on the Jaguars roster. So, Calais, keep doing you. Keep being such a great guy. I have no jokes for you, man. It's simple. You're a great guy. And finally, Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette's going to treat you good on your Valentine's Day. He really is. He's going to treat you very well. But he's going to clown you the whole time. So he's going to be like, girl, you ugly, you know. And he, and you're going to take it. Like, <laughs> like you're going to take it. He's like, oh, it's just silly roast. But he's going to keep bickering and bickering and get closer and closer to pulling out your heartstrings to the point where you leave. And then Leonard's going to be upset because he plays too much. That's just, that's how I envision Leonard. Like, that's kind of like me too. Like, I always be clowning people. But I feel like Leonard, you know, he's so good at clowning people and roasting people that... Uh, with his girl, he probably just gets so close to irritating her, and then she's like, all right, I've had enough of your silliness. Leonard, I'm gone. Leonard, let's kill the silliness this Valentine's Day. Have a good one. And that was what each Jaguar player would get you for Valentine's Day. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, chat links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified. Every single time I drop a new video, I drop new content on this channel often. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.